Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition where I'm just gonna continue to embarrass myself uh, with pain. Don't worry about it. Did I go into these? Did I go into this one? I might not have gone into this one. Like I said, uh, as you can see, walking into these rooms and getting like three side missions just from the hospital alone. Um, the game, for me anyway, got very overwhelming, but it felt very correct. For what, like, it, you look at your quest list, where is it at? Look at this, look at this right now. This, this is what I have, and this is this is just the beginning. Like, this is this is everything that I have to do in every single one of those. It's not like the previous game, where it's like, oh, some of this would be kind of interesting to do, or, like, it's just, like, random stuff to, like, people to rescue or whatever. Every single one of these missions will help with the war effort, and actually will. Like, it will help on your, your theater of war type thing. Um, but, like, everybody needs my help, and it's very overwhelming. It feels like I can, I'm the only one who can do this stuff, you know? And so, for me, when I was playing, like, I think, like, midway through or a little earlier than midway, maybe, I got very overwhelmed. And that's how I, I feel like Shepard would feel, too, right? Where it's like, I felt like, even though, like, it's like, normally, like, in a game you feel overwhelmed, you're like, oh, it's maybe poorly designed, or I'm, like, not doing it right, or something. But I feel like that was very intentional in this game. Um... Because you would be feeling overwhelmed in this situation, you know? I feel like psychologically it really puts you in what's going on, you know? Anyway, I'm definitely... Yeah, just let, me, just let me just let me talk to him for half a second. Coming by again, Shepard? I'm flat. We're not going to do the intimacy thing because it's a little weird. There's a little bit of a weird moment that happens at the very end. And, uh, it's a little weird. I wish the best for you, Thane. I think of us often, Sia, but we always knew it would come to an end. Live well in the time you have. Perhaps we will see each other again. Uh, and he says things like that. Like, how are you, how are you not, how are you not supposed to have your heart broken into tiny little pieces every time you talk to him? You know, like he, just this, oh my, how do I explain this? Like, like I wish the best for you. Like you can't, like what else are you supposed to say? Shut up. What else are you supposed to say to, like, a dying man that you love deeply, you know, that you respect, that you admire, and, like, and then he's like, we always knew our time would be short. I'm like, yeah, but there was a part of me hoping we could do something to help you, you know? And so it's hard. It's hard to accept the passing of a loved one. And so to be somebody to somebody like him is just... I can't even comprehend it in real life, you know what I mean? Like, I have no idea how that would actually, like, you know what I mean? Like, to, to somebody as amazing as him, it's just, like, mind-blowing. <laughs> Yeah, there's plenty you can do to help the war effort. You two could save lives by helping doctors in the refugee camps. Um, thanks. Who was that? The first human spectre. Da -da -da. Wow, Commander Shepard? Yeah, and it's good advice. Let's sign up as med tent volunteers. How's that sound? Much better than shooting myself in the foot. Like, right. putting somebody like them on the front lines, like, that you can use them as fodder, like, tech that is, like, a battle strategy, but, like... I think it's a poor one. You'd rather have people where they can be useful, you know? Welcome to Kanala Exports. Oh my gosh, what is this? Kanala Exports is pleased to offer goods for security and peace of mind. This isn't the knight armor that I'm used to seeing. The Dragon Age one. The Blood Dragon. There it is. Okay, the Blood Dragon armor. Blah. <laughs> Originally created for Earth Urban Combat Championship League. It has a unique proprietary power cell that costs as much as a contract. The armor is microframe computers adapt to any top tier Omni tool. The Edmonton Blood Dragons. 
That's Canadian. <laughs> and that's the Dragon Age logo. I do love this armor set. I can't afford it. This is new. Hang on, what is it? Power recharge speed. And oh yeah, that's right. It worked very well for my my um shield power damage. It worked really well for my Vanguard. Melee damage, weapon damage, shield, health. Won by the winners. Won by the winners of the Earth's Combat Urban Combat Championship. Mm, beneath this armor's medieval gothic facade lies a host of bar feedback systems. Uh huh. God, this armor looks sick. <laughs> I'm gonna buy it. I should not, but I am, and I'm gonna buy koi fish. What do I wanna buy? I only want. Where's my jellyfish? Oh, the, did we? Did we not? Did we not? Were we not able to overhear it? The book of Plinix? It's like a Volus thing. Dang it! Did I miss out on it? They have, they have a whole thing about like trying to like. Uh, is it the word um convince like the Volus clans to help in the initiative and the only way or one of the best ways to do that is to like appeal to their more like religious sides yeah it inspires people do I have frick it's somewhere in there <laughs> oh, it's probably somewhere in there <laughs> money Barlavon Hi. Selling now would be unwise. I'm aware of what's happening. Offload them into the Motan cluster. And then I'd advise traveling someplace safer. I wouldn't go to the settled worlds. Larger colonies appear to be priority targets. I think... If you're coming to the Citadel, do it soon. Certainly. Look me up. Business will keep me here for some time. He's like talking to somebody on the phone. Where? Aquarium VI! That's right, I do need to buy the Aquarium VI. The Cerberus. The Cerberus armor in this game is actually really sick looking. I really like the way it looks. Like I don't know what the helmet in particular. I actually really like. Um, ammo capacity, weapon damage, shield. By the end of the game, I usually try to buy all of these armor sets. Um. Don't be left out in the cold. Ask about our full service warranty. Oh, jeez. Don't be left out in the cold. Ask about our full service warranty. There's one armor piercing round per main barrel burst. That's an SMG I could use. I just don't like the spray generally. But if it is a one one. Like what is it? Elcos Combine. If it exists, or maybe it doesn't. Maybe because it has two barrels. Maybe it just fires that one shot from the one barrel, and then the others from the other barrel. Any opened goods can only be returned for store credit. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. The Rigar Carbine. Yes, yeah, so weapons named for the Quarry and Rigar families, Marines of Survival Against the Geth. I like the Reaper. Rigar, Rigar Carbine. I think it looks cool. What in the world is this? <laughs> wow. Uh huh. The weapon that I really love in this game is the pistol. Oh, this is a beautiful weapon. The Corian stuff is very cool. Any opened goods this weapon's electrical attack has been optimized. Electrical? I, I feel like I used this a couple of times, and I probably it really loved it. If it exists, we carry it. Jeez. Uh, Any goods can only be for store is it upgrades? No, what is it? The one I think it's a pistol. It's one. It's a Solarian designed pistol, and it's like weirdly one of the most beautiful weapons I've ever seen. I don't think it's in any of these. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure you pick it up on a mission. It's weirdly beautiful, though. over the vids it's not fair to him or to you with all the craziness of a war going on you deserve to be happy 
And I'm not. I have to be honest with him. Then you need to tell him. Yeah, well, doing that over a vid call to a man who's fighting for... I don't know, like, yeah, you need to break... Like, it's only fair to be honest. Who cares about the money? Haven't you heard the news from Palavin? That's what your army is for. Nothing's going to reach the Citadel. We need to start manufacturing military tech. Nobody will need banking software if these reapers are occupied. The market for military goods barely carries a profit. Who do you propose as our buyer? The Council, the Empire, maybe the Alliance. Even if we don't make much now, they'll remember us when the war's over. If we switch from financial VIs to military... I've seen Pelavin burning. Those fires aren't going out anytime soon. If you can help... Look, Cyrus, if you want to sell your shares, you walk fine. But I'm not selling financial VIs while my home world burns. Okay, okay, let me think. We could repurpose the VIs for upgraded targeting solutions. Right. We'd be able to use most of the hardware. The financial VI has more processing power than we need. No, no. <laughs> I love this. We'll rig the VI and it translates for all standard weapons. Refit weapons without having to overhaul your targeting computer. Rapid response flexibility. We'll make a fortune. A small fortune. We're selling these at cost plus 3%. Fine. Yeah. Um... There's a lot. Thinking of going? To sanctuary. No! I thought you were looking at Don't look! Don't go! Of course not. Yes, it is! Sanctuary is a scary It is! What? Oh, cow hunters. Somebody's making money off people's fear. Wish I'd thought of it myself. Elkos. He's, uh, I'm pretty sure he's, like, uh, the owner of the, like, like there's, like, the Elkos business or something. For everything. Yes. Every time that Asari commando sees me, she just starts screaming. I can even hear it when I'm trying to sleep now. I'm supposed to be helping her, but I feel like I'm breaking her world all over again every time she sees me. It's not your fault. Any human would probably trigger that reaction for her at this point. No. I looked up the file on that colony she was at. That girl she keeps talking about? We look alike. I shouldn't even be allowed in to help She shouldn't, honestly. Anyway, also, I remember this woman and this man specifically because they have, like, matching medical outfits, but I find her dress to be stunning. I really love the colors. It's fair. To be fair, it's very N7-esque. It's not black, necessarily. It's with the gray. But, like, you got, like, the gray, some, like, dark and light gray, and the red bands just make it pop, like, a little bit. And the white is just, like, I really like it. It all works. And I like the scale pattern and, like, the lines on it. See, this dress, this dress I can get behind. I think it's very beautiful. And the coloring is just really great. Uh, it is surprising that, um, by the way, it's a little odd that the, uh, the Solarian Counselor is male. He should technically be a woman. We must find a way to stabilize the heating unit so the water temperature can remain steady. The colony's location is hardly ideal for our species. The clutch will be imperiled if we do not act soon. Also, I will do everything I can do to help. We are family. I really love... Weather conditions may require technology that is not readily available on the market. I really love this guy's coloring. Like, the black Solarian skin with, like, the purple lines. I think it's very cool. And it matches his clothes very well. Anyway, they brought back colors in this game, which is nice. Some stuff goes down in here later. It's kind of an empty room for now, but... Anyway, we're touring the Citadel. Yay! I'm afraid I can't help you. But your manager said... Oh my gosh, this guy! <laughs> You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. I, I don't even think we carry that version anymore. Listen, I don't need a new model, or store credits, or anything. Just let my money pass. There's nothing I can do without a sales record of some kind. I can go get the warranty book from my car. I'm afraid I can't help you. <sighs> but you uh, yeah, it is, fi it is satisfying to finally tell this guy off in a way. Are you keeping this guy at work while there's a war on? Uh, well, it's his job, right? Oh my gosh. I'm supposed to be on break. Contacting the family I haven't heard from in days. Uh, yeah. I guess maybe the war's a bad time. Maybe? That didn't cross your mind the other ten times you visited this week? Uh, yeah, sorry. 
I'll just, uh, yeah. I've never seen anyone so obsessed with getting a refund for a toaster oven. Yeah, this guy is, it's wild. Like, I feel like he's been doing it for years. I'm sure it's just like a serial, like, receipt loser trying to, trying to, um, oh my gosh. This is, looks very much like the, the pistol I was talking about. Yes, the Solarian Special Task Group one. Oh my gosh, I remember this one. It, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it fires micro grenades. I actually really love this shotgun and the pistol. The pistol does the same thing. It's great. It fires like three rounds, like three compact grenade rounds. And it's like, boy, you can see it. It's really cool. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I forgot what that was saying about that guy. Oh my gosh! The Turian anti-material rifle is modified to kill Reaper enemies. I might use this. I might use a freaking assault rifle if this is. Oh wait, no, this is a sniper. Okay, I was like, it looks more compact. It looks more like a like an assault rifle. Interesting. A desperate move. They, they released its specifications so that you could, like, 3D print one. That's that's uh, that's good. The the Turians are not they're not here to mess around. You know. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases go toward the Turian war effort. Oh. Idea. I really appreciate management doing it. My husband's away on duty right now. Oh, you're bonded with Turian? No, actually, my husband's a Krogan. Oh, well, that's great. I just hope he knows which ones to fight. Oh, boy. Excuse me? Yeah. Oh, I didn't... Uh, well, I, I just... My husband is risking his life to protect us right now. I'm so sorry. That was thoughtless. Karen! Uh, I'm so sorry. No, no, I understand. Sometimes I'm surprised myself. Anyway, would you like to make a purchase? Yes, yes, of course. Anything for our troops. And you see people in the back sometimes who are like just standing there, like having a hard time. It's just like it make like it's not all over the place, but like you, maybe somebody just got a message that's bad or they haven't heard from somebody, you know, type thing. Um, anyway, she knows how to work this angle. I think she's probably done it many times, specifically with Asari. Welcome to Sporting Model Citadel! Give it to me. <laughs> I have no money. <laughs> Acolyte for the Asari. I do remember using this one as well. Dang. Warp bomb. Oh my gosh. The collector armor, that's right, it's horrifying. Shoot smart. Also, Shoot. No like, drugs. it's actually horrifying because that was a living person that you just, like, ripped their skin and plates off and, like, put it on. Like, obviously, they're, like, kind of, like, robots, essentially. Like, neurally controlled robots. But it's still horrifying. It's horrifying. It's comfortable to wear the flesh of another organic being as your armor. Yeah. Edie, I forgot they come out here sometimes. What are you doing, Edie? <laughs> Just stop staring at that man. He probably doesn't know what to do. I can't. Hello, Shepard. You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. Anything big and world-shaking? Man's inhumanity to man? Does <laughs> objective reality really exist? That kind of thing? I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. I believe he has a strong, affectionate attachment to me, but he has not stated it to anyone yet. Shepard, you have first-hand sexual experience. Oh, uh, yeah. How do you know when someone is romantically invested? Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize we were going to have this conversation so soon. Uh, they'll usually show signs they can't stop thinking about you. You know, masking you out, giving you presents, maybe playing music. That's so cheesy, Shepard. I lack material wants other than hardware and software upgrades, and my core programming does not assign values to music. 
Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. No. That's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think of it. it's <laughs> you need chemistry. She's not... I see. No. There are a number of things <laughs> I could inject to simulate the desired emotional state. No. No, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Scanning. Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. Oh, boy. Edie, the important thing is to have a good time, wherever you go. And if you're having fun, he probably will, too. Then the outcome is an unknown quantity. But you are saying I should attempt it anyway. Nobody ever fell in love without being a little bit brave. I see. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you. Also, it's just really interesting how she hops very quickly. Like, they were already kind of forming a bond in the first one when she was uh, disembodied, I guess you could say. Um, and now that she's bodied, <laughs> it's very different. And he has a sexy robot he can look at um, and interact with, like, more in a more personal basis. Not necessarily intimately, just on a more personal basis. But it is interesting that Edie herself is, like, seeking this out. This, like, affection that she wants this, you know? Um, for herself, in a way. Um, she's, like, she's potentially rewriting her programming almost without knowing it, you know? It's, it's just interesting. Their relationship is one of the most fun things, and, you know, and the little, little side things you can do in this game. You can encourage it or you can, you know, discourage it. It's fun. Hey, Commander, check it out. Big news. The Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a big expose on Quasar tournaments, tips on how to make your apartment look bigger, and, oh, yeah, a big-ass weekly. <laughs> His face. His face. These people have no idea. Oh. When big events shake up the galaxy, people cling to what's familiar. You say that like it's a good thing. Yeah, it's better than riots in the streets. I guess. I just wish there were a middle ground. You know, a little less gardening advice, a little more war prep. It'll happen once there's something people can do to help. Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI walking around the Presidium. She run into any trouble? No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. <laughs> Thanks to Vrolic Syndrome, I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. Finally getting some use out of those disability benefits. <laughs> I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Ah, she's earned a little shore leave. Yeah, she's like, hmm. Well, that's the thing, it's like, Jeff, the Joker, is not, like, he's obviously very, like, amorous about, like, the body she's inhabiting. Um, but, like, he really does, he's very affectionate towards her as an individual, you know? Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, I meant to point this out. This is Blue Rose, um, which is what the, did I look at this? I did, okay. Um, it's the, Nos it's the, what is it? The Blue Rose. What does she call her name? My husband's away. Her name is Era, but she's anyway. We ran into her in Mass Effect Two. Uh, she was the one with the Krogan who was singing bad poetry to her, calling her the Blue Rose of Tuchanka, um, and that will come up later. Listen, do whatever is best for your family. Just do it soon. Things are bad out there. We will. And thank you. Um, so I think these two got married. I think that's how it ends up working out. This is the two that, dang it, I forgot to, like, I, I didn't, in, ended up interacting with in this playthrough in Mass Effect 1, but they had, like, the vaccine discussion uh, in Mass Effect 1 about Jake. Her previous husband was his brother who died young because of a congenital, like, heart disease or something, and there was stuff they could do to help the baby um, that she was pregnant with at the time, um... I think, yeah, I think she was pregnant with him and there was like stuff like shots or something that she could get or something that would help him. I think so. Um, or he was just like very newborn. I can't remember. But um, they're having an argument and you can interfere <laughs> because you are Shepard and you know everything. 
on in the second one, you overhear them talking about like what like immuno boosters to get Jake, who's like a healthy toddler and like doing great and everything. Um, and then now this, you hear this, and I think these two got married, even though they're, they're technically their last name, I guess it would be the same anyway, because she, she kept her old husband's name, and, you know, he kept his last name, um, because they both have the same last name, but, um, I don't know, it could just be really close, like, trying to, like, raising him simultaneously as, like, uncle and, um, mother, you know? Still working? One call leads to another, and here I was hoping I'd have time to enjoy the view. The last time I saw the Presidium, remember how it was all rubble after Sovereign attack? That was the last time you were here? I guess she's been really busy, honestly. I barely got to see the Presidium before half of it got crushed. We were here all the time! By the time they repaired it, it was time for the next invasion. The Citadel hasn't seen the reality of this war yet. We should stock up on necessities while we can. Such as? Ezo, heavy arms, mercenary groups. Mercenary groups? We'll get the people. Take a moment for yourself now and then. I know, I know. But there's always just one more task or meeting. Speaking of which, talk to the Volus, Barlavon. Oh, now I can. He'll point you to some mercenaries willing to join us. I was like, I swear you could talk to Barlavon because he does this whole thing where he's like, I'm still very mysterious because I work with the Shadow Broker. And you're like, okay, <laughs> she's literally living on my ship, but you don't tell him that. Oh, I forgot there's this back hallway where other stuff goes down. I'm pretty sure, again, it's one of those like set pieces that we only use like once, but it could be, you know. That room opens up. Yeah, these rooms, the, the, those, the couple of those rooms open up. <laughs> we have to like rescue a Volus or something. <coughs> I'm dying. Yeah, these hallways don't do it. But can't I click on these? No? Okay. I thought you could. I think, can I click on the Blasto one? I feel like you could click on the Blasto one and get like little blurbs from the Blasto movies. Blasto 11. Some, some, some. <laughs> yeah. What a horrifying concept. Yep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and Elcor. Oh my gosh, it's it's so hilarious. And Elcor and Anar have to be like the drabest <laughs> like sent species to like put on a, a movie. It's so funny. That situation is difficult, right? Where it's like, yeah, with her and the husband, like you wanna be honest, you don't wanna like leave him hanging, but also like you don't wanna I don't know seems really cruel in like the galactic collapse like you could just wait till after he gets back hopefully you know commander shepherd it's been some time yes oh, it has Barlavon no i know forgotten financial advice you could be the shadow broker yourself my and dude. an acquaintance of admiral anderson i admire the courage it took for him to stay and fight on your home world. You used to be an agent for the Shadow Broker. I still am. The Broker has been exceedingly busy lately. A team of his guards have become stranded in a Reaper-controlled territory. Rescue the guards, and they're yours. 
the Shadow Broker fully supports your efforts against the Reapers. Thanks. <laughs> I appreciate the information. Just don't wait too long to act on it. The Reapers are advancing all too quickly. He is just giving this to me for free. Come see me once you've completed the extraction. I'll be in my office a while longer. The galactic market is in considerable flux. I have plans to return to her room, but business here keeps luring me back. Perhaps it's for the best, all things considered. The Vor- or the, not the Vorja, the Volus control- basically control the galactic market. Um, so we'll be getting their help in the future for trying to keep things stable, because as often happens in wartime, people are pulling money out of banks, and so the banks have no capital, essentially, to uh, put up- to, like, help fund war efforts. They have nothing to, like, back it with. Um... And so, like, the, like, the bank systems start collapsing, you know, and that causes, that very much causes economic collapse, at least in what little I remember of, like, the Great Depression stuff I heard when I was, like, growing up in high school, like, in, like, middle school and high school for, like, the American history stuff. Um, and a part of, part of the, like, uh, the Great Depression downturn was when people started pulling money out of banks like, individuals started pulling money, and, like, big, you know, wealth, very wealthy individuals were, like, pulling money out of banks, and, um, the banks had nothing left, you know, and there was nothing left to, like, bankroll, like, it could the economy anymore, people were hoarding their money and taking it out, and so it was just, which makes sense, I did, like, I would often consider doing the same thing during COVID for a while there, um, but it was... One of those things where, like, eventually in this game we'll get to talk. I don't know if it's Barlavon or a different Volus, but um, we convince them to encourage people to stop pulling their money out of banks so that we can have the capital to, you know, fund war efforts. It's not necessarily, it's not like use. I don't know exactly how it works. It's not like using people's money, but it's like having the money in the bank that can, like, back up the funding that they do give. I don't know. I don't know exactly how it works. I can't remember that from, what, 15 years ago in high school but um yeah anyway i'm gonna call this one here i think we've just been wandering we have this is just one floor or two there's a lot going on a lot of quests that we're gonna pick up i mean i need, I need so much money to buy this stove <laughs> i spend most of the game just like trying to, trying to get all these cool armaments and stuff but it's super fun to see my friends wandering around, too. I really love getting to interact with them and that they're not just, like, trapped on the ship. <laughs> I do miss having them come with me, um, but, like, behind me, following me around. But uh, but this is fun. This is fun. I like it, too. So thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Risky my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I just think you're the super bestest. I'm starting to fade. Sorry, it's getting late. <laughs> I've been recording for hours. <laughs> but thank you all again for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.